Hello and welcome to another tutorial with A1 Website Pro. Uh, my name is Maximus McCullough and today we're going to be talking about blogging with Microsoft Office Word. So a lot of people aren't aware of this feature that Microsoft Office Word has in it or if they are they don't know how to set it up. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to walk you through on this tutorial how to set up and how you can uh, make blog posts through your WordPress using Microsoft Office Word, okay? So that's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to talk about. And the nice thing about this is, is you can take advantage of all the features that uh, Microsoft Office Word has and, and you know, drag it and drop them pictures and so on and so forth, even if it's on your own server. So that's what this is going to be geared to, uh, a WordPress content management system that's on your own server. So we all know that whenever we start up Microsoft uh, Office Word, it looks like this. Now, if you go here to go, fi go to File, and then you come down here to click New, you'll see all these different things that you can click on. But that when we want to blog through Microsoft Office Word, we want to hit Select this Blog Post option, and then hit Create, just like that. Now, you'll, if you don't have an account registered, it's going to ask you to register a blog account. So what we have right now is we have WordPress on our own server and we're going to click register now okay now under choose your blog provider even though WordPress is the option you do not want to select that you want to select other okay and then click next now next WordPress uh, we want to have we want to select meta web blog and in this where we have a special URL for our WordPress content management systems now if you have uh, uh, an SSL you want to make sure that you use the uh, secure server uh, S at the end of HTTP. Now the important thing is this XML or, or XMR or XML or pc.php. This is the special file that gets you connected. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to enter your username and your regular password that you use on your uh, um, for your blog and click remember password. Now under picture options what you want to do is you want to select my blog provider. Okay, you're going to have different options like my own server and I don't you want to hit select my blog provider and it'll upload those pictures whatever pictures that you put in here to your media library and then all you have to do is click OK and that will let you know if the account registration was successful okay now if you have other accounts you can add other accounts the same way in fact I have also a MaximusMcCullough.com so I'm just going to go through this real quick and for blog post URL, now I don't have an SSL on Maximus McCullough, but all I'm going to do is change this right here. Dot com, and then my username and my password, just like that there. And then I've got to make sure that picture options are on there. And account registration is successful there too. So, and then I want to set A1 Website Pro as the default here. Okay, and then all you do is hit close. Now, if your if your screen comes on real small like that, what you want to do is come down here and magnify it to 100% or more, whatever you feel is going to be best. Now we're ready to go ahead and and start. Uh, you know, give it the the title here and the content. So. Uh, the name of this uh, may change, but currently what I'm thinking about is how to blog with WordPress using Microsoft Office. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little blog post here, and then we'll be posting it on a1websitepro.com under, under my blog post. So we'll see it come up above this uh, the Faith McCullough effect on A1 Website Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, the other important thing that I wanted to highlight is whenever you want to link a particular post to a uh, um, a category, all you have to do is click Insert Category. Now what this does is it pulls from your server the categories that you have in your server. And so I'm going to go down here and maybe uh, select this category uh, Tech Support you know and then uh, you know maybe just hit it hit enter there and then I might want to choose another category so I'm just gonna hit that button 
and I'm going to come down here and select uh, uh, WordPress, and then uh, you know hit my hit my enter button once again, and then so I have two categories that this matches, and so now I'm ready to go ahead and start posting. Um, that's another thing that you can do. And here's the here's the other important thing: if you want it to be published as a draft, you hit publish as a draft. And if you're ready for to finalize it, you uh, hit publish here. So I'm going to go ahead and write up this post, and then uh, so I can show you guys how this works. Now you can see here I've already started my blog post, but I just wanted to show you guys something with SEO. Now I'm taking screenshots and I'm naming the files according to my keyword phrase, how to blog with WordPress using Microsoft Office. And I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop this picture file right in there just like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this so that you know it looks decent in my uh, blog post. And uh, the other thing that we all need to be aware of is search engine optimization for graphics. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to right click here and select this format picture. Now notice down here we have alt text. And so uh, we have the, uh, uh, the title option here. So what we want to do is type in our keyword phrase, how to blog with WordPress using Microsoft Office. Just like that. Then that way I have my alt text in here too. So whenever I publish it, you know, it will be search engine optimized. The other thing that I want to go over with you here is whenever you're in this blog post and you're inserting pictures, you want to compress these pictures, okay? Because uh, you don't want a picture that's 5,000 pixels wide by 10,000 pixels high whenever it's only filling up a space that's maybe 300 pixels by 200 pixels. So what we want to do is we want to select the picture that we're going to uh, compress and then under picture tools, like if you're if you're in this section here, you want to you want to click on the picture. It'll give you the picture tools. Hit format, and then select compress pictures. And you could apply only to this picture or all of them. And uh, so right down under here, um, there's the target output. We're going to hit screen for 150 ppi. So this is good for web pages and projectors. Okay. Now we could apply it to all the pictures. Okay. And then you could delete the cropped areas, but then select OK. And this will optimize your pictures for the web so that they don't have to be, be taking up a lot of space. Okay, So that's, that's an important thing to do whenever you're inserting pictures. I know it's real nice and easy to insert pictures. And also the other thing that I want to that I want to bring out, like if you're trying to insert these smart shapes, like uh, possibly this circle or something, and you go like this, it's not going to show up like that whenever you publish it. Okay, it's going to show up as a different picture file. So if you want to use those things, you, you want to use them and then uh, use your snipping tool to take a screenshot of it uh, like this. Okay, and then you would highlight that picture, copy it, and then re save it and then reinsert it. That would be the only way to handle something like that because these pictures here will upload as different files. So I want you guys to be to, to be aware of that as well. Okay, I finished making my blog post here. I just wanted to go over something again with the pictures. If we go here to format picture and we go to alt text, we see that it's using the file name. Uh, we have the title here, but we can also use that title in the description as well without using that file name. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to publish it. Uh, there's just a few things that I wanted to go over with you here so that you're aware of them. And I wrote them down at the bottom of this post. So uh, you know you can insert a category. I showed you how to do that. But if you wanted to put in a new category, okay, like I entered this Microsoft Office blogging, all you do is just start typing in there and it'll create another category in your WordPress content management system for you. Okay, so here's some final thoughts. Uh, this format that you see here is not necessarily going to be the format that you see on your website. Okay, It's going to follow the format of whatever your website is. Uh, for instance, on my the, the format that I have on my website is this type of format. Okay, And then whenever you click on it, um, you know it, it follows this you know different text. Uh, styles and everything. So, and these are H2 tags. And you want to make sure that you use your H2 tags when 
when you're using it and how you do that is you you highlight the the heading tag that you want to use then you'll see up here it has heading two if it was heading three you would use heading three or whatnot and then you go back to your regular paragraph tags okay well I'm going to uh, show you on my blog post uh, oh the other thing is this featured image here you have my beautiful baby girl well that featured image is not going to be in there so I'll have to go back and put a featured image so we're gonna go to my blog right now and these featured images are, are on the left now you're not gonna and we're gonna go ahead and publish this thing so I can show you how it works and so here I'm gonna go up now I could publish it as a draft and then go in and edit but for this demonstration I'm just gonna select publish so you can see what happens here and so it's contacting the blog provider it's going to upload all of the pictures and all of the text and it'll probably go through this a couple times so just be patient and let it upload everything <clears throat> uploading them pictures and all the information that we included in this blog post so might take a minute or two depending on how big it is and you can see I have a lot of pictures in this blog post to illustrate the different steps that comes with creating a, a WordPress blog post using this Microsoft Office Word program. Now you can see it says this post was published at WebsitePro.com at this time and this date. Okay, so let's go back over to uh, my blog uh, post and we're going to refresh this. And you can see my default image is there and then I have how to blog with WordPress using Microsoft Office. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this post. I'm going to open it up and now you can see that we have all of our uh, images, we have our H2 tags and it's using the, the fonts that I have with my theme uh, with all my pictures. So if you wanted to see if the alt text w went in there okay, you just right click on there and you can see the image source. Let me go up to one that I know that I put the alt tag on. And if you don't see them, you'll have to go in and edit your post and uh, make sure that you get your alternative text in there. So, so you notice I have the file name, how to blog with, and then it looks like it abbreviated it. So I didn't get my whole, uh, entire file name. Um, you see here on this, I have uh, the, the images linked uh, to creating a new account in the Microsoft or, Office Word program, so that's good for uh, you know whenever people uh, click click on click on things to to enlarge them or whatnot. So that's what we have for uh, uh, Microsoft Office Word to WordPress. It's a nice little handy feature. Like I said, it does have limitations, but it could speed up your workflow, uh, especially whenever you get into the Microsoft Office Word and all its features it has with the spell check and uh, using synonyms, looking up thesauruses, uh, artwork, and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Maximus McCullough with A1 Website Pro. Thanks.